Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay updated on all things stocks and investing. Today, we're diving into one of the most talked about stocks of the past few years, GameStop, or as most of you know it, GME. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just curious about what's been going on with this stock, stick around because we're covering everything you need to know. All right, let's kick things off with a quick background. GameStop is a retail chain that sells video games, consoles, and gaming accessories. It was founded back in 1984, and for many years, it was the go-to place for gamers. But as the gaming industry evolved and digital downloads became more popular, GameStop started to struggle. By 2019, GameStop was facing serious financial challenges. Many thought it was on the brink of becoming another casualty of the retail apocalypse. But then, something unexpected happened. In January 2021, GameStop went from being a struggling retailer to one of the most famous stocks on Wall Street. How did this happen? It all started with a short squeeze. Explanation with visuals A short squeeze occurs when a heavily shorted stock, meaning many investors are betting that the stock price will go down, suddenly starts to rise. This forces short sellers to buy the stock to cover their positions, which drives the price even higher. GameStop's short interest was incredibly high, and when retail investors on platforms like Reddit's Wall Street Bets noticed this, they started buying up GME shares. This led to a massive spike in the stock price, causing a chain reaction that sent GME soaring from under $20 to over $400 in just a few days. After the peak, GME's stock price saw wild fluctuations. Some believed it was just a meme stock with no real value, while others saw it as a sign of a new era in investing, where retail investors had the power to challenge Wall Street. Cut to current stock chart. So, where is GME now? As of current date, the stock is trading at around current price. The company has undergone some significant changes, including a leadership overhaul with Ryan Cohen, the co-founder of Chewy, taking a leading role in transforming GameStop into a more digital-focused company. So, what does the future hold for GameStop? The company is now trying to pivot from a brick-and-mortar retailer to an e-commerce and digital player in the gaming space. They've also been exploring opportunities in NFTs and blockchain technology, although it's still too early to say how successful these initiatives will be. For investors, the big question is whether GME is still worth holding or if it's time to move on. The stock remains highly volatile, and while it's no longer the focus of the short squeeze frenzy, it's still very much a speculative play. If you believe in the company's transformation and have a high risk tolerance, it might be worth holding on to. But if you're looking for more stable investments, you might want to consider other options. To wrap things up, GameStop is more than just a meme stock, it's a company in the middle of a massive transformation. Whether you're bullish or bearish on GME, there's no denying that it's one of the most interesting stocks to watch right now. What are your thoughts on GME? Are you holding, selling, or staying on the sidelines? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more stock market insights. Until next time, happy investing, 1212212.